Hello and welcome back to another episode on Life Afloat. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mark and I live full time on board a narrowboat called Round the Bend with my dog Daisy. Daisy is sat next to me on the sofa at the moment. You might see her head poking up into shot uh, throughout the video if she decides to move around. So keep your eyes peeled and you might just uh, see Daisy as well. I make videos uh, about boat life. Uh, sort of vlogs about my life living on board a narrowboat, cruising videos, walks with Daisy, um, boat maintenance stuff, all that sort of thing. So if that's the sort of thing that uh, you're into, you should like the channel. So feel free to check out my other videos and uh, give the channel a little subscribe if you enjoy what you see. In today's video, I'm just going to give you a bit of an update really on uh, what's going on in life really in general. So it feels like forever since I did a video, but it's only been a week. Um, but I've got into the habit of doing several videos a week recently while I've had a bit more sort of time on my hands and I've really enjoyed it. Um, my subscriber numbers have increased a lot actually. I'm on 983, I think, subscribers at the moment. Very close to a thousand, so it'd be fantastic to get there, which hopefully I'll uh, be able to do in the next week or so. So having uploaded videos quite regularly and um, you know several a week as I say and then having a week out from doing a video it just seems like ages since I last did one it's been summer holidays so I've had my daughters with me I had them from Monday to Sunday and we had a fantastic week it was actually a really good week that we had we didn't do anything spectacular but we went to a couple of parks we had some picnics we watched plenty of films we played loads of games on the boat we had our first ever towpath barbecue which was good fun and of course we've been on some walks with Daisy and uh, we just had a really good time and then on Sunday uh, we went up to my parents up in Spalding uh, and saw my sister and brother-in-law and my nephew as well so that was that was a good day and then I dropped them back to their mums on Sunday so we had a really good week and it was nice to have them for longer than just uh, the weekend really you know because we are very close and I'm at my happiest really when I've got my girls with me so yeah it was nice to have them for for almost a week. So I mentioned uh, a while ago about um, the work situation. I haven't had any income since March so things have been a bit tricky. I have been pushing the mobile engine carbon cleaning service that I offer but because I don't really have a budget for advertising it's quite difficult. I'm posting in a few Facebook groups, but not really getting much out of it. Um, in fact, if you want to help me out, give the Facebook page a like for that. I'd really appreciate it. I'll pop a link in the description to the Facebook page for my carbon cleaning um, service. So I'd really appreciate it if you could just check that out and click like. That would actually help a lot because Facebook uh, prioritise pages with more likes over others that have less likes so the more likes it gets the more it will be seen so it may not seem much just to click that like button but actually it's quite a big help so I'd really appreciate that I did make mention to a driving job in a previous video a friend of a friend owns a recruitment company specializing in logistics unfortunately that hasn't come to fruition I was told that it would and I was really hopeful about that but nothing sadly um, I've still been applying for jobs. I apply for at least 10 a day, even when I had my girls with me. After they went to bed, I was online for a few hours applying for jobs to make sure that I'm hitting sort of 10 applications a day still. I've heard back from a handful of places just saying that my application's not been proceeded with. I think it's a difficult time at the minute to get work. There's so many people in the same situation looking for work because of um, what's gone on with coronavirus. It's, it's very, very difficult to get work at the moment. Um, but I am still trying and I will continue to try until I get something. I did see a lady advertising for oven cleaners and I even spoke to her. Um, and funny enough, 
she said, yeah, okay, I'll give you a rota of, of places to go that have booked, you know, oven cleans to do. She sent me through seven to do the other day. So I went out and spent money that probably didn't really have <laughs> uh, on um, some cleaning stuff so that I could do a proper job and a bit of fuel in the car. But I don't know how she's running her business, but each one I went to, they either weren't home and I couldn't get hold of them on the phone, or they said they hadn't booked their oven in to be cleaned. Or one chap said, well, it was supposed to be done on the 22nd, no one turned up, so I've had someone else in to do it, which is fair enough. Um, so it was a complete waste of time and money, unfortunately, which was quite disappointing because I would have earned sort of about £110 that day, but yeah, it just didn't happen. So yeah, feeling a bit down about the whole work situation. Um, just feel like I'm letting my girls down a bit, you know. I just want to be able to treat them, take them out, uh, you know, for a day out or even a weekend away somewhere. Um, because they deserve it. They've been through a lot the last couple of years. And uh, they're good girls, you know. Still, I'll get there. I'll get something. I'll keep applying. And uh, I won't stop until I do get something. There's sort of my motivation really to keep on going looking for work. Um, so it's good that I've got them. <laughs> Otherwise I'd probably just give up looking for work to be quite honest. Because it's just so difficult. Um, but anyway, there we go. That's enough moaning about that. In terms of the engine overheating on the boat, yes, it is still overheating. Um, but I now have the thermostat and the gasket for that so that was delivered to my parents house so I collected that the weekend when we went up haven't had a chance to fit it yet because it's been raining ever since pretty much it's been actually really bad weather I've even had the stove on uh, which is a bit strange in the middle of summer but it's been hammering it down and I really need the stern doors and the hatch open at the back so that I can get a bit of light in and just a bit more room to move around in the engine build so I've got to do it when it's uh, decent weather really. I'm a bit worried that it's not going to fit actually because the, the engine is a Ford XLD engine, 1800 and I couldn't find anywhere online parts for a Ford XLD 1800. Even these marine uh, sort of engineer website shops, suppliers, parts suppliers, whatever you want to call them, they didn't have uh, thermostat for an XLD 1800. All I could find was like oil and oil filters, um, heat exchangers and sort of major big components of the engine but not sort of smaller parts. So I read that the engine was used in the old Ford Escort vans between I think it was 1994 and 2002 or something like that. So I ended up ordering um, a thermostat for a Ford Escort 1.8 diesel so I'm just sort of hoping it's the right one really and I'll only find out if it is the right one when I come to fit it so that's it really I just wanted to give you a bit of an update um, I had a great week with the girls work is not happening <laughs> um, I'll continue to try and uh, apply for jobs in the meantime I will put a link to MK Carbon Cleaning in the description below. If you could just click on that and click like, that would be amazing. It would be a big help. Um, thank you so much if you do do that. And um, yeah, the engine's still overheating. So hopefully that will be fixed by the end of the week and I can carry on cruising. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so. Um, help me get over that 1,000 subscriber barrier. That would be amazing. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.